welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it is going to be my very first lip swatch. I'm going to be doing two lip swatches. So the first one is going to be the Maybelline collection in the ultimate, I guess like lipstick. And then the other one is going to be the Super Stay Ink Crayon. For the Super Stick Ink Crayon, I only have three, so I'm only gonna be swatching these three. And then for this one, I actually have, one second, so for this one, I actually have eight, so I will be swatching all eight of these. These ones kind of recently came out, but it wasn't that recent. If you guys watched my unboxing video from when I came back to Toronto with all my PR unboxings, that was when I got it. So I don't exactly know when I got it because I was away when I got this package, but I was looking on YouTube and I saw a lot of other people swatched it already. It was about two months ago. I guess it's not super new, but I thought I would do it anyway, just because you know a lot of different people have a lot of different skin tones. So I wanted to show you in case you guys have kind of relatively the same either skin tone, hair tone, or eye color as me, hair tone, I mean hair color. Because I know with all these added complexities, it can make the lip color look a little bit different. I wanted to do this anyway, since it's relatively new. Another lip collection that I actually have the full collection of is actually the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 collection. So that collection is also not new at all. I think it is like two years old. So I can also do that lip swatch if people are interested. If you are already not satisfied enough with the current lip swatches on YouTube, please let me know in the comments down below because if nobody wants it then I will not make it. This one was actually highly requested when I did my PR unboxing so that's why I'm doing it today. So the lip color that I am wearing right now is one of the lip colors from here but classic me and since this is my first time doing this you can obviously tell that I am clearly a little bit noob because I did it and then I put the colors together and I literally now do not know which lip color I used. Hopefully this watch can help us figure out what exactly what color this is going to be. So I think what I'm actually gonna do in terms of the lip colors is I'm actually gonna swatch it with the numbers going up. These all end in 99. So I have 199, 399, 499, 599. I'm gonna swatch these in ascending numbers. So I'm just gonna go in order of the numbers and I will only swatch it on my hand, I guess, for each color. And same with the three over here. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It is my first lip swatch. So let me know if you like this and if there's any other color collections that you would like me to do, I can try to reach out to the brand to see if they're willing to send the full color swatch and I can do that for you. So without any further ado, let's get this video started. Okay, so I'm gonna start off once again in the lowest number and going all the way to the highest number. So the first color is 199 More Ruby. And what I'm noticing as I lay them out in order of the color is that it goes kind of more from like a brighter red to then a more muted pink and then it starts becoming a little bit more brownish. So the very first color, 199 More Ruby, it's actually this pretty red color and I'll swatch it for you guys. So this is what it looks like. The applicator is just extremely extremely thin. I just really, really like the shape and it's angled perfectly. So this is kind of like a very classic red is the impression that I'm getting. This one I am applying for the very first time. So as you guys can see, this is new. Right off the bat, the color is really intense. If I swatch it on my hand, this is what it looks like. Okay, so onto the next color. This is 299 More Scarlet. This one is just kind of like the first one, but it is a little bit more on the brighter red side rather than a little bit on the darker red. And same thing, this is my first time using this. So let's see how it applies. So as you guys can see, this one is a little bit more on the brighter side. This kind of reminds me more of like a Dorothy red type of bright red. And swatch wise, this is how it comes out. It's just very, very intense bright red. And I'll show you the difference between this one and the earlier one. 
So the earlier one had more of like a purple and this one is more of a red red. All right, on to the next color. So the next color, we are entering the pinky color. So this one is 399 and it is called More Magenta. So the color, as you guys can see, is kind of like a brighter pink, still a little bit on the red side. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so this is what it looks like has more of a pinky color. I feel like this is a very bright pink. I personally, like I don't usually wear these colors. I think it's a little too bright for me. Regardless, it looks really cute. So let's see how this swatch is. So this is what it looks like. You can see this one is quite pink. Okay, we are on to our next color and the next color is 499 and we are finally getting into the territory that I really like because I like more muted red or pink or whatever it is and I like it a little bit with like a brown tint to it. So this one is more my vibe. This one is 499 more blush. This is what it looks like. This is also brand new so we can definitely narrow down the colors that I didn't use. So that was not my initial color but let's see how this one applies. This is definitely more up my alley. Like I said, it's more of like a mauve pink. So this one is once again in 499 and I will swatch it to show you guys the difference. So as you guys can see, it looks like that. So the next color is more mauve and it is in color 599. This color really reminds me of this one NARS lipstick that Kylie Jenner posted years ago. Like I think in 2009 or something like that. I don't know, the color that went viral for so long. This is the color that kind of reminds me of that. I also have not tried this color yet, but this is what it looks like. It's just such a mauve color and let's apply this. What I've been liking about the lipstick so far is that when you apply it applies so opaquely and it's not really buildable because it already builds for you so if you guys are looking for that deep dark opaque color this is definitely that lipstick for you I'm really curious to know how you guys think these lip colors look on me because this color, for example, has a cooler tone to it and I'm more used to warmer tones. So I wonder what you guys think. Please let me know. I don't know how I like this lip color actually, but let me show you guys what the swatch looks like. So this is how it compares to the rest of the colors. Looks like that. I know I'm not doing this right. I feel like I should be doing this on my arm, but I forgot to roll up my sweater and there you have it. <laughs> Okay, so the next color is in 799 and this one is called More Taupe. This is what it looks like. It has more of a brownie color. I feel like this would be really, really great for the fall time, but this color is also very much up my alley. If you guys watched my video on my must have favorite lipsticks, I have a lot of brown colors. So this is very much up my alley. I'm very excited to try this. Oh my God, I love this color. Okay, so obviously not the color for this season because it is currently summer, but this is gonna be such a great fall color. I am so excited to wear this color around, but against all these other colors, this is how it looks. Okay, so the next lipstick color is in 899 and it is called More Rust. So this one is in kind of like a brownish red color. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, it's like a deeper red with a brown tint to it. So let's see what it looks like. So swatching this against everything so far, this is what it looks like. Oops, there we go. 
finally, the last color in this entire collection, or at least the collection that I have, is the 999 More Truffle. And it honestly does kind of look like truffle. This kind of like darky brown, but I feel like this has a little bit of like a purple tone to it a little bit. This is the color. So I'm actually thinking the lip color I was wearing earlier was actually not from this collection because I actually didn't touch any of the lip colors here. But let's see how this one applies. So this is the brown, to be honest. This is a little too brown for my liking and I really like brown. It is still a really nice color regardless, so. And I'm just gonna swatch this for you. I'm just gonna do this all across my hand because I already screwed up by putting it there, but this is how brown the brown is. Overall, honestly, my impressions of this lipstick is just that I actually really, really do like it. I think what I love about it is that number one, if you're looking for that deep color, you can directly get it without having to apply a million layers. If you're not looking for a buildable color, this is the one for you. The second thing is I actually love how precise you can use the end of the lipstick for. I actually use the end to line my lips so then I can actually have like a more precise looking line. That was really easy to do and it's actually a lot more hydrating than a lot of other matte products so those are really the selling points I think and I feel like it is still pretty affordable compared to some other lipsticks in the market so definitely take a look at those and now we are gonna go and switch into the three super state ink crayons that I have so I think the color that I was actually using earlier is probably this one because this is the only one that I have already used it's number a hundred called reach high okay so the first one I'm gonna try of the super stay is reach high in color 100 so let's take a look so this is the first color I'm gonna swatch it for you so that is the first color and this is what it looks like The second color I'm gonna go with is the 110 and this one is called Rise to the Top and this one is a little bit more on the redder side. So I've never tried this color, so we're gonna see. This is what the color looks like. And this is what it looks like on here. So you can see the color difference. Okay, so the last color I'm going to be trying on in the Super Stay is in 115 and it is called No No Limits. So this is what the color looks like. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but it's more of literally like a crayon. So it has a pointy end rather than the flat one like the last lipstick that we tried on together. So let's see what this looks like. So this is what the swatch looks like against the other three colors. I feel like it's quite similar from the second color, but this one is a little bit more on the redder side. So I would say that between these two types of lipsticks, it honestly just depends on the type of preference that you have. Personally, I'm very much more of like a creamier lipstick type of person only because I actually love the look of mattes. It's just that in terms of functionality, if you guys have been following this channel for a long time, you guys will know that I'm all about functionality, etc. And I just find that matte lipsticks are a little bit more hard to apply because it requires a lot more precision in order for you to look you know clean and put together so for me not even because I don't like matte lipsticks it's just purely because of the functionality aspect I just prefer creamier products because I can kind of like use it without having to have that level of concentration and detail so it's really up to you both products are amazing personally I just resonate with the colors that are a little bit more muted a little bit more brown and warmer so those are kind of like just my own personal preferences and even with lipsticks I personally like more creamier products and like super 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 
matte just out of the functionality. It is really your preference. Both are amazing. They're both very hydrating for what it is. So I definitely recommend checking these guys out. Okay, so that was pretty much the entire video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like the lip swatching, please make sure to leave a comment down below so I know to do more of these types of videos. Yeah, I hope you guys found a color that you liked and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!